Hi, Tamar. I'll be hollering at you guys for a second. I'm collecting stuff. So how are you guys doing? We had a warm day today, a pretty day. Sunny, nice breeze, perfect. The birds were all out. My bunny was out in the yard. I got to name my bunny. I've got to name my bunny. I thought the other day, I told my husband, I should name him Einstein because he's smart enough to stay in the, in the little yard and not go where the dogs were. And then one night I was going back to the house and where was he out in the main yard chomping on stuff so i thought okay well einstein he's not well at least he waits till the dogs are in the house for him to go in the main yard but you know if the dogs come out is he smart enough to go back into the safe zone or is he you know going to be running all over the yard <laughs> getting caught <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, just when I was going to name him Einstein, I told my husband, I think I better call him Goofus because he's just really kind of goofy. And so it's so cute, though, but every morning I open up my drapes and there he is, the same exact little spot. And he kind of pretty much stays in that little perimeter almost all the day. And I was I was going to look it up. I haven't had a chance. You know, I don't know. Are Do rabbits usually hang out with other rabbits or are they just kind of solitary kind of, kind of an animal? Because he just, you know, he's there all by himself. He just watches everything going on. Yeah, I'm talking about my little bunny. <laughs> No, I didn't see no, I haven't seen no movie about a bunny. Hmm. Yeah, so. Uh, I don't know. I hope he stays, I hope he stays around, but you know. You know what they're known for, you know, making other little bunnies. So he's not going to be able to do that by himself or she. I don't know what it is. Oh, they're solitary. Well, he, well, he's solitary, but he's got like, you know, a three ring circus between all the squirrels and the dogs and my husband and myself. <laughs> At least he doesn't run anymore. I can get up to a foot from him and he won't go, you know. But I don't try getting any closer because I don't want him to take off and run into the main yard. So, you know, the only reason I know a foot that he won't run is because I almost stepped on him. He had moved and I didn't see where he was. He was in the taller grass. And, um, and I'm looking past him, looking for him. And then I guess he moved his ears or something. And I saw him and I go, oh, my gosh, crunch. <laughs> Oh, well, how many 
of you la lovely ladies have um, just smart apart with the rabbit and it was trapped inside the fence. They opened the gate and he ran out. Oh, well, see, he can get out anytime he wants here. The way the kind of fences we have. I mean, he can get out anytime he wants. It's just the dogs can't get in. So let's just hope he stays smart for a little bit longer. <laughs> so how many of you ladies already made your grungy papers? Have you already done them? I'm anxious to find out. Okay, so you do that. If you hear us talking about you, don't pay attention. Colleen did her paper. Who else? Elaine did her paper. Ms. Popo did her paper. Woohoo! Enough people did their paper. Excellent. <laughs> okay, so Sue is fair game. We can all talk about her. She's she's very busy. Oh, Susan didn't. Oh well. Susan's got a full-time job, so we'll we'll excuse her. Any of you ladies that have a full-time job, you're excused. Yeah, it does sound like homework. <laughs> Yeah, Javon, there is a test. <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet, but I'll give you guys one. It's so pop, I don't know what it is yet. So, these are all my yummy papers. Whoops. Let's get in view here. Let me get this out of the way. I got too many things close by. Okay. Oh, let me get my scoot my chair in. Oh, well, I'm a little um, I'm a, uh, I guess well maybe a little slower than usual. <laughs> I'm always a little slow. <laughs> but my husband and I did not go to bed until five o'clock this morning. Why? I have no idea. After after I finished up with you guys last night, I was cleaning up some things and I had some music on and I figured, well, let me clear off all my table here because, um, you know, I had so much stuff and all the stuff we were playing around with. So I cleared all that up and put my Asian stuff away and then brought out this stuff. And then by then... I don't know what time it was. It must have been like maybe 2.30 or something like that. So I see, you know, the lights are still on in the house. So I go, oh, well, he's wide awake too. So I go over there and he's over there blaring music. And I went, oh, my goodness. So um, and then we just started chit-chatting and stuff. And I don't think we went to bed till like about 5 o'clock. I said, what's going on with us? He says, I don't know. And then, um, and then, okay, so that was like five o'clock. And then my dog woke me up around 930. So that's all the sleep I've had. So, <laughs> but you know me, probably like about nine o'clock, I get my second wind again. So if I can get past these next two hours, <laughs> um, you know, I'll be set to go all over again. <laughs> Oh, hey, Laura. Who else did I miss? Carla, Sandra, who else? Angie, hi, Angie. <laughs> yeah, I feel kind of lazy, like, and I got a lot done today, too. I thought oh, I'll just be dragging. But I did quite a few things, got things put away, and it seems like I spend half my time putting stuff away, making a mess one half, and then the other half is putting all the stuff away. I guess it's probably the same for you guys. And then I got a few things in the mail that I forgot about. 
So that was cool. I had ordered for some glues and things like that. So I'm all set in that respect. Okay, so are most of us here? Probably. An apron. <laughs> I need an apron? Why do I need an apron? What did I miss? <laughs> huh. What does the apron mean? See, I'm so slow, I'm not even catching that. <laughs> they're always feisty they're always full of it that's why i like them okay so i figured what we would do we concentrate on is making um this main cover that i put this journal in now those of you that have been you know involved in these kits for a while if you remember the one that we did for the Asian, it's basically the same, the same, um, whoops, that one didn't have it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on, I think the one that has it. One of mine have it. Oh, here we go. It's folded the same way we did that um, folded insert in the back of the um, the Asian journal, if you remember. So if you were here for that, how we use that file folder, it's the same principle as we did this one, only we're using it differently. So if you made one of those, you're already ahead of the game. And if you didn't, well, we will start from the beginning. So what I used was one of the file folders. So if you already grunged up your file folders, you are ready to go. Let me pick one here. I think I put all my file folders together that I grunged up. So here's the ones that um, I did in batch one and two, the one that we did together, and then the one that I had already done when I made that one. So it's just a matter of me picking out, whoops, that's not a file folder, which file folder I want as my cover. So I got kind of sort of three different looks that I can go with. And this one's already, I've already got one kind of similar to this. So I won't do that one. So I'm going to do one a little bit different. So this is blotchy like that one. So I think I'll do this one just to be different. Whoa. <laughs> well, it's blotchy inside. <laughs> All right, so I'll give you the measurements I did mine in, but you can choose any measurement that you feel comfortable with. But just so that, you know, you've, you have a visual of this already done. So let's just go by these measurements. So this is, of course, it has to be an odd number. So maybe we need to like, even it out. It's at eight and three quarters. All right. So let's just go ahead with the eight and three quarters because why? I have no idea, but we'll do that. So what I did, <clears throat> let me move this out of the way too. It's very scientific. <laughs> um, because well, on most of these uh, rulers, you know, it doesn't start exactly at one. It gives you almost like about a quarter. So I'm going to go at eight and a half here. Wait, what did I say it was? Let's just kind of do a visual. A visual. So if I put this, because I'm not really into measuring, but I have to measure for you guys. So, so. 
eight and a half. Okay, let's just do this at eight and a half. I'll put this at eight and a half. And then all I do, I cheat. All I do is I bend this up. Because <laughs> I'm too lazy to measure. <laughs> so, eight and a half. Eight and a half. But if you guys like to measure, go for it. I'm too lazy to measure. And then just make sure that this is centered because, you know, we've done it so exact already, you know. And then I go like that. And then um, all I do is I fold this in. And like, let's see, some of the some of the ones that you're going to be using, it might have those tabs on the sides. Just happen that this one doesn't. And this one didn't either. Yeah. But um. I like to include the tabs in there that comes with these. Some people don't like them for some reason. I don't know why, but you know, that's your taste. You know, if you want to leave it, you want to chop it off. That's all up to you. And then I just fold this in and then I fold this in. And, and voila, you basically have your, it's done. So good night. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> now, okay, I only saw this part and I don't, and now this was just plain old blotchy in the front like the rest of them. I don't think I like that. What can I do about that? I can't do anything about that, can I? Or can I? Does that work? If I flip that like that. Yeah. Why didn't I do that? Because I didn't know that's what was going to happen. That's why I didn't do that. Okay. Okay, let's straighten this all up. This is very industrial now. has many lines. <laughs> okay. For those of you that weren't paying attention the first time. Eight and a half. We're starting all over. I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> Probably doing it wrong. I'm telling you guys, I feel like I'm in, in a haze. Purple haze. So don't laugh at me, at me if this doesn't work out. Ooh, I think it might. Hey, I'm surprised I even thought about, you know, doing it over. Miracle. All right. Now I'm happy. So... Again, for those of you that like things, everything lined up, and I know there's some of you like that, and that's okay. No judging. It's just I'm not one of them. Now, you may not like the fact that this back here is sticking out further than this one. Then you would have to fold this in, trim that off, and you can go ahead and it can be all like even, even if that's the way you like it. You would have to fold right here, get it even, then trim off this edge. But I don't care about that. I like all of the ins and outs. So that doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Now, what I would do, 
or what I did is I went around and sewed around all the edge, all completely around. If you like sewing um, your papers, that's a nice option with this journal. If you're not into that, no biggie. It doesn't have to, you know, you don't have to do it. But, um, but as you can see, that is what I did along this whole thing. Up and down and around. Okay. All righty. So that's, that's pretty simple. And once you've got this all sewed, I don't sew it, um, I don't sew this down. I kind of leave everything kind of free floating because then at this point, you can decide if you're going to um, put some kind of the papers that we have, whether it was a ledger paper or other kind of papers, if you're gonna line this somehow, or if you're just going to leave it. If you like the way, you know, your grungy papers came out, you know, you may just leave it the way it is. Um, or you might, um, put some papers in there. Now this particular one, I just left it the way it was. I think the Asian one, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I put some papers on there. Did I? Yeah, I put paper inside book, book pages inside. So that's kind of, you know, a decision that you can make. If you want to put the uh, um, some kind of a lining in there or leave it just the way it is. And it doesn't have to be the whole thing. You might want to do every one or every other one or just one or something like that. So that would be something that you would decide. I'm going to look at my stuff and see if there is something I want to do or not. I'm not sure. Let me look. I got so much junk. <laughs> It's good junk, though. I do like how this came out all lined up like that with all of the red. I really like how that came out. I don't know what you guys think. I think if I were to put maybe just like a strip. That might look cool. Let's try it. We don't have to put it. Let's just cut a piece. And let's see what it looks like. And if we don't like it, we don't like it. I mean, that's all there is to that. Now, if I took something like that, and glued a piece of that in there. And because I think this was um, grunged in the same batch, the colors coordinate maybe too well. What do you think? Does it even show up? Because the colors are so much alike, huh? Um. Anybody who didn't see the video last Wednesday, I did a tutorial on how to grunge these papers. So um, you need to go watch last Wednesday's vid Wednesday was yeah yeah last Wednesday's video. We went step by step how to do this paper so that they would be ready um, to start today. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking it looks too, it blends in too much. What do you guys think? Let me see here. Oh. Maybe one of these with the numbers. Yeah, let me put that away.
Okay, one of those will look cool. I like that already. I think I'll put one of those right there. And because what's inside the pocket here isn't seen, I don't want to waste yummy paper. So I'll cut it off about right here. And then I'll glue that in there. Okay, I'm liking that already. What do you guys think? And then... Let me see if I have something else that has something cute on there. That's kind of cool. But I like both sides. I really don't want to glue it down. I'd rather have this as a page. Okay, so maybe not. They're kind of cool on both sides. I can tell I'm not going to be good at decision making tonight. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's a single piece. That's cool. Okay, I could, I can, um, I can see giving this one up because there's nothing all that exciting on this side. Magnetism. Maybe it fits better there. Because this is a bigger, maybe. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, I'll look up in a second, guys. <laughs> Hold your questions. Hold your questions. Now, see, I am so bad. I think a normal person would put that in a trash can. I have a hard time doing that. I think I have a sickness. <laughs> I think I have a real paper addiction sickness. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so I think I'm going to glue that there just because I like that. And I think I'll put that one there as a background because I like it. And... So I don't want to duplicate these. So let me see if I can find something else. Or maybe I won't put anything. Um, oh. This is kind of cool because it's got different color. Yeah, I think I might like doing putting that there somewhere. I don't know what... This has to do with industrial, but it just, I like the paper. So, <coughs> <coughs> everything's <coughs> blooming outside. I got my allergies really bad. <coughs> my throat dries out. We have a bunch of uh, privets. And this time of the year where we are, the privets all bloom and give off these little small flowers and those flowers they, they oh they smell so good they smell like i don't know almost a little bit like honeysuckle and um but you know when you've got i forget how many we have in our yard and they're all blooming at the same time it's like it just takes your breath away and then your nose and oh allergy time uh and they they bloom for like about a month <laughs> I'm in bad shape for about a month of those crazy privets. Okay, I think I will put one of these here. <clears throat> Just because I can. <clears throat> oh, 
Uh oh. Suze hates privets. <laughs> My husband liked them because they grew fast. Boy, they sure grow fast, let me tell you. We let ours go into trees. I mean, I, I have one privet and I trim all the bottom, you know, so it has a trunk about that big. And um, and it's it's taller than my house now. Maybe I'll just cut this in half and put one on each one. I said I wasn't going to duplicate it, but then you know what? I can change my mind. It's my journal. It's my journal. I can cry if I want to. <laughs> okay, who sang that song? And what's the real name? <laughs> you might be able to watch them both. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would be a good trick. Let me know how it goes. Oh, but if I put something like this, then you could write on there too. Now, remember, when this gets all folded up, you're not going to see any one of these at the same time. You're not going to see anything at the same time. So, you know what I'm saying? So, even though... They might look cool together. It doesn't really matter because that's the last time they're going to be seen all together anyway. If you get what I'm saying. This might be fun. Put a piece of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I like that idea. All right, so don't waste any. So if I just put it right there, we'll be good. We'll be good. Okay. Made that decision. with that. Yes, sir, bub. Okay, so before I start gluing, let me see if I have any important questions in capitals. Because you know I won't be able to read everybody's everything. Hello, 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 hello. I don't see no questions in capitals. Do we have any? Okay, let me start from the bottom. Cheryl, is this? Yes, this is my um, industrial kit. Um, hey, Teresa. And let's see what else. Is that it? Do the paper stink? Do the paper stink? No, they don't stink. Why would they stink? 
Um, oh dear. I don't even want to know what your basement smells like. Okay. Great flavor of dirt. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Okay. So I don't see no questions. At least not the kind that need my answers. So let's glue this down. And I'm perfectly happy with my glue stick, so. See, pretty cool already. I like it. Oops, which side did I want? Oh, I want that side with the red. Ooh, that's kind of cool, too. Oh, man. I like the specifications. Let's just go with that. It just seems so industrial. Specifications. Oops. All righty. Oops. I see a spot here, but I missed. I always miss the corners, but it's easy enough to come back and get them. Okay, so we've got a good start. Yay! All right, next. <laughs> um, yeah, only an hour and 49. Um, the actual tutorial is way at the beginning. And the rest is like the usual, you know, goofy chit chat. But I think like in the first 10 minutes or whatever, I pretty much, you know what to do. <clears throat> but, you know, then, of course, I go off on a tangent afterwards. Because I literally put them together in a tutorial, go put them on the stove, bring them back and show you guys what it looks like. And then, of course, then me, whew, who knows? I don't remember what we talked about after that. <clears throat> so back to here. So after that, <coughs> all I basically did was put a signature together with all the yummy papers. 
that I had. And how many did I put in here? I don't remember. Let's see. I'll count all the papers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen pieces of paper before folding. Oh, well, did I count that? Oh, maybe there was 20. I don't know if I counted that. Let's just say 20. And I think this one's a little thinner, though. I'm not sure. It looks thinner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. I did only 14 here. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, um, there's 14 here and there's 20 here. This is, yeah, this is kind of overdoing it. I think I would do maybe 15 on each one. I think that would be like a perfect in between these two. So, um, did you guys want, I mean, I don't know because, you know, I know you have, there's lurkers here that I don't know. So, <laughs> so I don't know if you want me to go through the stage of putting the signature together. Um, is that something you guys want me to do or not do? Because I don't know at what stage of journal making all of you are at. I mean, most people that make journals obviously already know how to do, put a signature together, you know, how to composed you know different parts to put in there and then there's others that are new and they just don't know so that's why I'm asking so you're not a stranger today <laughs> okay Lynn is eating Uh oh, Johnny's here. Betty's here. Hello. I see people saying hi to Mary. Where's oh there? I couldn't see her. <laughs> okay, I see her. Okay, so um, I'm trying to figure out, you know, I mean, because I don't want to show you stuff that you know how to do and then you just get all bored, right? So that's where I'm trying to figure out um, you know, what I should do. Who's been here the whole time? Betty? I believe it. Oh, see, Mary's been lurking too. I knew you guys are back there in the background. <laughs> okay, so I'll just show you basically, you know, putting it together because it, it goes really fast. I'm just going to do like the 15, I think. I think that, that works out better because this the front end is a little chunkier than the back end. So let's do 15 and see how it looks and, you know, go from there. So I already have this. So let's go ahead and include this piece. And let's see if I have to cut these down. Let me measure what I ended up doing these. And we'll just do it the same. These ended up being uh, well, they're all different sizes here. So approximately if 
approximately eight inches across and eight down. So eight by eight is basically what I did, which makes it pretty simple, right? So that way I know how much I want to trim off. So here I needed to trim off about a quarter of an inch. I want this grunginess. See, I could very easily cut it off here and then it'd be kind of even on either side, but I don't want to, I don't want to get rid of that. So I will sacrifice this end. And even though I like that line, I like that better. And that's how I, that's how I go about choosing what I'm doing. If there's a, you know, sometimes there's a reason, sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it's like, oh, well. So I don't want to cut that. So I will. Supposed to be eight inches, so at four inches, that's four inches right there. Again, you know, I do not really measure that much. Just kind of a... Kind of, sort of. So now I'll just have a little fold on that page. So that's how I would do that one. Oops, and I got to get the right length. And so it's pretty much right on, right on. So I'm not going to care about that one too much. Uh, let's use this one. That's eight by eight and a half. So that means I gotta take off about a half an inch or so. And we got that one. And I like these, so we'll put one of those. And I'll just fold that one back also. And this is six inches, it's like eight inches. And you got eight inches about right there. So let's go cut this one back. And then we need another eight inches. It's about right there. So we have another page. And I'll end up either cutting this or folding that one back also. Okay, so we're getting there. I think I want one of these grungier ones. So... I'm just doing my real technical measuring there. <laughs> my real technical measuring. Then eyeball it. And comes about oh, over eight. I don't know if I want to get rid of that grunginess, so let's just do it this way and call that done. Ah, oh, I like this. Let's see if it's the measurements of these. These are a little over eight. Now, see, when I cut these things off of this, I always save these, and then you can collage with them, or you can make, cover some papers to do some tags. What else do I have that's different? 
Oh, I need to I'm gonna include this thing in there. Ooh, this one's cool. Now this is about, this is a little over eight. But oh, all the good stuff is where I would have to cut off. So we'll see how it kind of fits in there. See how much over it is once we actually get it in there. We can always trim it back. Okay, so this is a different kind. So that would be about middle of subcontract. Ooh, these are grungy, guys. This is super cool stuff. You can't get too much grungier than these, let me tell you. This one is way longer, so I am going to have to sacrifice, but we're not throwing it away. Now, these I forgot in the bottom of the pan, and they just kind of dried with all the goopy stuff on them so they're kind of cool the cool in a goopy kind of sort of way Do we have right now? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. See, that's kind of chunky already. That's just 11. 12. I got to cut that down. 12. Mm. I don't know. Can we handle three more pieces? Maybe small pieces. Let's put not full pages. Let's find. If I can help, but I don't like the, the numbers going the wrong way. This looks like it didn't get baked, so I kind of like it. I like that it's not baked. <laughs> it's just kind of dirty. Oh, I'm getting my allergies really bad right now.
Oops, I need a line for reference. I think we need one more, right? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, two more. Two more. I think, um, I'm just going to put one of these, like the time cards. And then let's see. A little bit of this. <clears throat> What's left? What's left of the ledger piece? That one really cooked. Okay. I think that this is a nice full. A nice full signature, full of yummies. So let me cut this down. Now remember, in your kit, all those papers, I think all those papers except for this, this was just something... I lined something with. You've got all those. And maybe I should fold these so that you can see the images instead of cutting it off. Yeah, let's do that. Because these have cool images in there. Let's put this um, this stiffer one out here to give it some more stability. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I love how those um, pictures transferred when I laid the printouts on there. When we were grunging them up, I did the little transfer. Kind of creepy and cool at the same time. Okay, so. Taking shape already. Okie dokie. So this would end up here. And then the second one would be here. Now I've made them in the past. Oh, Mary, are you here still? Mary, hello. Because then there's still stuff you can do back here. Is Mary here? Is she gone? A long time ago, I made um, Mary this journal that I sent to her. 
And this was exactly the um, configuration that I made it in. And then, um, but I think also on hers, if I can't remember what I did in the back is there was even another one there. So there was three in that one. So if that's something you think you might want to do, you could have three signatures. You could have one here, one here, whoops, and one there. Oh, she's here. Mary, remember that signature? And that signature, that journal I sent you? Um, it had to do with, what did it have to do with writing and, you know, you know what I mean. This is the exact way that I made that one. Where I had the signature here and here. And then I think I put those clips in the back for you and I put some papers for you to draw or write on or something like that. Yeah, it had to do with letters. That's right. Because, yeah. So. That's how I how I made that one. Okay, so let's look at what I did on here. So what I did on these pages here, if you look at, you've got these paste stubs. And what I did, well, this has got kind of dark. You can hardly see it because it really cooked. But... <laughs> But what I did was like, for instance, right here is I cut this piece off and I put it on that page. And then I took another piece from, you know, another part of the check. This says rate right, right here. It says rate. I cut that piece out and put it on that page. And that's what I did with, and I didn't grunge this one up. So this started off green, I think. Or was this the green one? One of them started off green. And I cut all these, these sections out and I glued it on the pages. So that's kind of an option for you if you want to find a way to um, just add a little bit of something to your pages but still, you know, keep them wide open for later on if you're going to glue or journal or paint or whatever it is you do with your journals. I did that. I did it almost like on every page or every other page. And then put a little bit of the tape on it to give it that little older look. So I don't know if you notice these, you know, every time I was, I've turned the pages because it kind of sort of just blend in, but now you can see where they came from. And that came from, from these and those were also in the kit. All right. So um, these tabs. I don't have one of those really cool tab makers. The one I have is the one I don't like, which is this one. Because, you know, it really doesn't make what I would call tabs. <laughs> it makes things shaped like that. <laughs> but what I did, um, I'll show you what it is in case you guys don't have one of these. Don't go run out and buy one. Because it'll just frustrate you. Let's see. Let me find a piece of paper here that I don't care about. Well, I care about all my gringy papers. Okay, let's get one. Uh, here, here's something that didn't print out good. So I'll use that. Okay. Okay, you can cut this out like that. And you get that. Oops, let's give you a contrast and you get this. So I cut two of those out and then I put them back to back on here on the page. And then I have one I have one in the back 
and I went in the front and then I just stapled it. <laughs> I don't even know if I glued it too. Oh yeah, I glued it too and then I stapled it because, you know, we're going for, you know, that gringy look anyway. But if you're making a nice little journal that's supposed to be all frou-frou and everything, well, these, you know, I mean, you can fold them you know, and kind of contort them and put them in in a certain way and have the full here. Oh, no, thank you. I'm not doing that. Um, but if you're doing something that's kind of, you know, rustic kind of sort of um, or grungy. What did I? Oh, I lost the, the ball. Oh, um, they work just fine. But and if you're making a lot of them, well, you know, hmm, it does take time. And then you got to figure out how to put this back on. <laughs> and then there's that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope I can go to sleep before five o'clock. Well, I don't know how to put that back on right now, but I don't care about that right now. All right. So, um, so that's pretty much how I put this together and then I never um sew in when it comes to these types of journals I hardly ever sew them in the same way and so with this one what I did is I just I sewed it like right here and right here you can see how I did that and then I just put um some tape over it <laughs> Hey, it worked for me. I like how it came out. So that's how I put um, sewed in these signatures. You can see where they are right there. There. All right. Time for drink. Time for me to drink. I mean to drink and read. Okay, so any questions? Any questions? Oh, you guys are talking about COVID. It, yes, it is. Yeah, it's not one of those biggies. It was just a regular one. Whoops, what did I just drop? Oh. It's just a regular sized one. It's not a legal size. Although I've used those before too. But your folding is a little different. Teresa has a question. Oh yeah, I answered it. <laughs> Anybody else? Going once, going twice. Lilikoi. I'm drinking Lilikoi juice. Muddy sweat. Lily Koi. Lily Koi. I don't know what that is. Mm. It's a fruit. It's a Lily Koi. But that's what it's called in Hawaii. I'm trying to remember what it is, what it's called here on the mainland. I can't remember. What is it called? It's round like that, about that big. 
Hmm. I'm trying to think of what it is. Look it up. Where's where's the um the Googler? Lily Coy. Oh yeah, it is. Passion fruit. There you go. Yay, she's the winner. The lurker is a winner. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, so what else should I show you? Because what's weird about this um, journal, I mean, I threw a bunch of stuff in the kit. But when it came for me decorating it, I really didn't decorate it all that much. Um, because the, the papers, to me, were so yummy. It was like, you know, I didn't really need all that kind of stuff in here. Well, we have all this cool stuff that was in there. Look at all this cool stuff. <laughs> I grunged all that stuff up, too. <laughs> what did you win? <laughs> you won exposure. <laughs> oh, and look at this. This is what was left. <coughs> Telling you how I don't throw things away. It's, it's, it is ridiculous. See, this was when I put that in and punched it out and I punched them like this and then I turned the paper around and I punched them like that and this thing was left. And I just thought that it was so cool that, oh, I can't, I can't throw that away. It's just too cool. That's what I'm telling you. It's a sickness. <laughs> I mean, it is a sickness. <laughs> And then I used up a bunch of papers from a pad, and then this was left over. And I thought, oh, this is just too cool to throw away. There's going to be something. If I throw it away, then at some point I'm going to have an idea, and I'm going to say, why did I throw that away? When you know I'm going to have 100 more of these because I used so much paper from my eco dyeing that, you know, it isn't like I'm never going to see one of those again. But I just couldn't throw it away. Okay, let's see what we have here. Well, we might have to, okay, we would just leave that for a second because, I mean, where'd it go? I don't even know where it went now. Oh, there it is. Because, you know, it's just cutting up papers and putting them together, right? We, we can do another one before we're done. But let's look at, some of this other stuff that we have to play with and what we can do with it because that might be a little more exciting <laughs> it might be a little more exciting now okay so you guys got oh no it wasn't that that i sent you guys it was the one with the numbers Right? You guys got that black thing with all the numbers on it? Well, I know I gave them to you, but now I don't have any. I guess I... I don't have any for me. <laughs> um, anyway, it was a card. A, a piece of a... Hmm. I thought I had... Anyway, it was embossed, embossed cardboard that was a bingo, uh, a portion of a bingo card that was embossed. And so what we did, oh, no, I'm forgetting who it was. Popo, you got to remind me who you saw. I stopped. Um, Popo was telling me about, was it Sagita? I can't remember if it was Sagita or if it was the, or what's her name? Um, the Bohemian, no, what's her name? Is her name the Bohemian Crafter? Oh, I forgot which one it is. I think it's the Bohemian Crafter. Yeah, Bohemian Crafter. There you go. Thank you. Um, she had um, showed how to.
make stuff like this. And Popo watched, Popo shared it with me. And I said, holy moly, that would be fantastic to do with our industrial, because, you know, metals and things like that. And so this is done with that cardstock, that piece of cardstock that you have. Um, yours are all numbers. Yours will be like, looks like something like those. And this was from another embossing plate that I had. All right. And I'll show you. So then this is what it looks like. I cut up the numbers off of, it's kind of hard with all these. Can you even see that? I can barely see that. Anyway, these are the numbers that were there in the uh, embossing card uh, stock. And I cut them off and I just, you know, glued them onto some, you know, I don't know what it was. Some kind of packaging to some crackers or something. You know me, it's probably crackers. And glued those down and left an edge around it. Okay, so then what we do do we have no one sit right there? Let me get the ones that I haven't done yet. Let me get those out. All right, so the way I used them is I got the um, the screen that was also there in your kit. I got the screen and I got a little bit of silver paint on my finger and kind of went over the screen to give it a little, you know, more of a, a used up look and um, then put on these um these little numbers that look like metal, but aren't. And all you do, we'll do it together, but I'll just tell you first what you do. If you haven't seen either one of those videos, um, all you do is you get a hot glue gun and with your hot glue, you go around the edges to create you know, what looks like is soldering. And then if you have, I don't have any of those cool waxes that all the ladies have, but I do have metallic paints. So what I did with this is I used the metallic paint. And then I do have, I should take that back. I do have some other stuff. It's not the stuff those ladies are all using, but I have some other stuff that's real old. And, you know, it's got some a couple of cool colors. And so that's what I rubbed over on top of that so she used a once you put the um the glue on there she took a magic marker and uh painted the the glue and you could i would say you could probably use black paint but it'd probably take extra coats you know because you're doing over the glue but something permanent is actually better so she did that and then after she did that then um then you start playing with all these waxes and all that stuff and you got this really cool i think it's cool um whoops rosemary hi hi tanya See, I saw that. Boing. And then I have another embossing one that is this one. Yeah, you can't see, huh? Oops. Eh, a little bit, I guess. And that's what these are.
Ta-da! So anyway, it's a really easy project, but I included, you know, some in there because not everybody has, you know, an embosser. Not everybody could emboss some numbers. So that's why I included that one in there in case you're wondering, what am I supposed to do with that? Well, what you do is you cut them, cut up all the numbers, put them on a little piece of uh, cardboard, and then they're all ready for the next stage. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Because that's real quick. And that way you know how to do that. If you want to do it, let me go get my glue gun. Glue gun and need glue sticks. Where's my glue sticks? There they are. Very good. And I don't know why, but my glue gun, and it's not a, you know, it's not like an expensive one, but it's not an old one. But it dribbles. It just kind of dribbles the whole time. So I'm not sure why. I refuse to buy expensive tools. That's probably why it dribbles. It's just a dribbler. Okay, so we'll let that heat up a little bit. Let me go get my let's see, get a marker first. <clears throat> I think I think I just used a Crayola one. It wasn't that's not even permanent, is it? Or maybe I used a real Sharpie. I don't remember. I don't remember what I used. I probably just used whatever I had. Because sometimes I have the Sharpies, but <laughs> they're already dried up. I don't use them often enough. Okay, so we're letting that heat up. We got that. Let me go get a little bit of wax and some metallic paints that we can use. Okay, so I do have that. I'm trying to remember exactly. I think I used like about two different things. Because the first first thing I put on there, I didn't like it. And so I just started piling different colors on there. So I think I also had some, let me get my metallics. You guys saw those last night <laughs> when we were playing. So we'll play with that and we'll get a little towel to wipe my hands off. Because it gets messy. Okay. Any questions while well, that is heating up? Snow. People have snow. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, hubby's home. Off to eat.
Um, Laura, I have most of the, I mean, it's, it's not listed. It's all sold out, but I have, I still have everything. If you were wanting a, um, a kit, that's no problem. I can put one together. Okay. So I have, when it comes to this, I have a very unsteady hand. I'm not sure why. And getting it all lumpy and everything, it doesn't matter because that's what soldering looks like. You know, actually, the more lumpy it is, <laughs> it'll just look like an amateur solderer. Solderer. I'll let that dry and do the last site after those are dry. That saves the fingers. I can't tell you how many times I've burned myself. <laughs> Can't tell if I missed that. You get things that are crystal clear, and then you've got this weird lighting here. I've been thinking about watermelon. I think about a lot of fruit, but I don't buy it anymore because my husband can't eat it. And I mean, I don't think it'd be fun if he bought things I couldn't eat. <laughs> so I have to do things like that, like things that I want. I have to kind of like 
do it out of the home. And these days you're not out of the home. So it's like, how the heck do you stink water? Um, stink. How do you sneak a watermelon? <laughs> And then, you know, this whole situation that we're in, it makes me paranoid. Like, okay, I know they sell cut up watermelon at the grocery store, but who touched the water? Who cut the watermelon? Was he wearing gloves? Did he sneeze on it? <laughs> when before, you know, I could drop it on the floor and pick it up and eat it and I didn't care. <laughs> and now I'm all like, oh, 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 germ, germ conscious. I don't even go through drive through because a lot of those places will not let the employees wear, wear masks. Can you believe that? I couldn't believe that. All right. So now we'll go back to the ones that should be cool and do that last side. Hey, watch it. Okay, so I think they all have, oops, no, this one doesn't have their side. All right, I think they all have, uh, yes. So I'm going to plug these. And then I just have to let those completely cool down. These are some of the first ones. Let's put these over here. These first. 
Uh, we'll just make sure those are all cool. And then we'll put some kind of a dark marker on them. Get all the little hairs out of there. All right. Now I know for sure the Sharpie works, obviously. Let's see if this works. I don't know if it will. I bet you if I put my finger on it, it's just going to come off. Yep. So that doesn't work. So let's just, let's go with what we know works, which is a Sharpie. I just wanted to see if there was other things in case you didn't have a Sharpie. But I think you're going to have to do it with something that's permanent, you know. So just make sure you get it on the, um, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to come back over it with some kind of a metallic, but just try to cover it as best as you can. And there's, you know, like little dips and valleys, and of course you're not going to be able to get into all there, but all that adds to the character, so don't worry about that. We'll do around three or four of them so you see the difference. Okay. You can see here, maybe you can, maybe you can't. 
see that white line right there? I didn't get enough glue on there. The glue isn't butting up against the cardstock. So because it's such a little thin area, this won't go in there either. So it's kind of hard to tell if you've gotten all the way up because of, you know, that stark black and then the glue is, you know, so crystal clear. But try to make sure you at least touch the cardboard or else you're going to end up with a little gap like that, like you see. Which, you know, after we do all the other stuff to it, it's hardly noticeable. But, you know, the fear of things that you have to worry about or you know, at least to be looking out for. Okay. I don't remember what color I put first. <laughs> I I don't remember. So let's just let's just pretend it's the first time we've done this. I don't even know if I used that. I'm not sure. I think Oh yeah, I used some of this. I used some of this silver and I used some of this. This is um iced espresso. I used those and I played with a little bit of gold on it too. I'm not sure which gold, to tell you the truth. I'll just grab any old gold I have. This has a, a warmer tone. I'll go with that. All right. So let's start off with this first and see what happens, if anything. Just see, look, look already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then maybe I did use some of this. I don't remember. Oh, maybe I did. <laughs> maybe I did. But look. I mean, that fast, you get a really cool look. And, you know, and you could do that with whatever you can emboss with. <clears throat> if you got words, you have designs, you know, whatever it is you want to use. And, you know, whatever your favorite metal color is, that's what you use. You want gold, you want copper, you like silver. There you go. You can turn these into tags. You can turn them into charms. You could do a whole, you know, a whole embossing folder and use it as the cover to your journal. All right, let's see if I put a tiny bit of gold on there. Just to see what happens.
It kind of looks cool with all the colors on there. Johnny's already tried it. She held off showing it though until I uh, until I did this. Until I showed you guys. She's already been having fun with it. <laughs> uh, Susan scared her. <laughs> didn't let her didn't let her show it. Oops, that's too much. Too much. There. And you know, and if you find that you put too much of everything, then just come in and um, whatever is cardstock, you can go in there with your black paint, paint it all black all over again, let it dry, and start from scratch if you find, you know, you overdid it with some color, which I think I kind of overdid it with some of these colors, but anyway. Oh, I got another one here. Oh no, I gotta, I gotta do the marker on those. I didn't want to do all of these with the marker and leave you standing. I wanted you to see what we were leading up to. And this is what we're doing. Okay. Any questions? What are you? I, I don't know. I don't know how you guys know what you are talking about. Because let me tell you, me getting in there in the middle of all this, I don't have a clue what you guys are talking about. Well, as long as one person knows what you're talking about, I guess they can answer you. You guys, are, <laughs> you guys are crazy. You know, it's so funny when, when I go back and I read this stuff, when you guys are going back and forth to each other, it reminds me of like little old people in a convalescent home that can't hear each other. <laughs> and they go, what? Did you say what? No, what did you say? You know, all the autocorrect is like when they, you, your hearing gets all messed up, except your reading gets messed up because the typing gets messed up. And it's like, oh, my goodness. Oh, is this what I have to look forward to <laughs> in real life? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey, Ma. 
I love your thick stickers. What? What did you say? <laughs> I said you're thick. What? I know this whole thing when you read the these these conversations, it's just comic relief. It's like, oh my gosh. I now I understand why there's lurkers. I mean, why get involved? Well, you can just sit there and sip your tea and halfway spit it out and you know, read what everybody's saying, watch me do stupid stuff. That's why some people are so funny. They do live streams and for whatever reason, they don't include the, the chat. And I'm thinking, but the chat's the best part. <laughs> you know, half the people are there to, to read what's going on with all the craziness. <laughs> Anyone can jelly print. It's the conversation that's fun. <laughs> Oh, Rosemary, I saw that. Did I get, I think I sent it out already, actually. Did, was Brenda asking? <laughs> Is she here? Uh-oh. No, I sent that out. It's gone. Whenever I get money, it's out the door. And she paid. That's the only reason I know that if something's gone, it's because as soon as it's paid for, it's gone. I live like about four blocks from the post office and I do my own, um, you know, the pirate ship. And so all I do is I go through the drive through dump it in, <laughs> drive by, drive by post office. <laughs> it's gone. And somebody else, I'm trying to remember, two of them went out on the same day. I think they were both kits. I can't remember. I just know I dropped two things off. Okay, I have a question for people that listen to music. Totally unrelated to what we're doing. But how many people here know who Chris Stapleton is? Show of hands, who knows who Chris Stapleton is? I'll give you a few moments. <laughs> Oh, Rosemary. How, huh? How did you attach the screen? Oh, okay. I'll show you in a minute. In a minute. Okay, I'm still looking for, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. Can you please explain to me why he is considered a country singer? Explain that to me. He does not sound at all. I mean, if you didn't look at him, you've never seen him before. You just heard his music. 
I don't think anybody would say, oh, he's a country singer. He sounds like a blues. Um, I don't even know how to explain it. But explain to me. <laughs> oh, I asked three questions. Oh, my gosh. Where are they? Oh, hands are up. Okay. What about the circle thingies? Did I use those? Circle thingies? We'll get to the circle thingies in a second. Because <laughs> I'm not quite sure what those circle thingies are. I'll have to look through my package of stuff. See if I see some circle thingies. Any other questions? Oh. Um, he sounds more country, not to me, not to me at all, unless I don't know what country is. No, but I'm talking about his voice. I understand, you know, I mean, Stevie Wonder could write a song and a country singer sing it. It sounds country. But if Stevie Wonder sings it, it doesn't sound country. Chris Stapleton does not sound country to me. Just my opinion. I knew I'd wake up, you guys. <laughs> Ask a question. Everyone has an opinion. <laughs> I know you say it's country. It doesn't sound like country. That's all I'm saying. I know it's popular on the country station. I know the country stations play it. I know he's considered a country artist. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying his tone to his voice, how he sings, he, anyway, that's just my opinion. He doesn't, to me, to my ear, he does not sound country. That's all. <laughs> but I knew I, you know, because. I knew you would have an opinion, and that's okay. We have different ears. And obviously, the rest of the world disagrees with me because they have him down his country. But to me, he's a soulful singer. And I would not categorize country music as soulful. That's just my opinion. Don't jump down my throat. Don't hate me. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, let's see what the things you're saying. <sighs> Right now, the rubber tube, I think I'm going to use it on somebody. That's what it's for. Uh, oh, is that the round thingy that Jennifer's talking about? Is that what you're talking about, Jennifer? <laughs> hey. I'd agree if you guys are paying for this class. But you get what you pay for, people. <laughs> if you want all your questions answered, cough up the bucks. Otherwise, 
You get what you pay for. <laughs> okay, so so what now? <laughs> Bob Will. What the hell the heck is Bob Wills now? Oh dear. Someone else I gotta look up. Yeah, well, Keb Mo is not a Western singer. <laughs> He's not a Western singer. How did he get into the conversation? And I consider him more of a guitarist. Anyway, um, okay, let me see. He's soulful, but definitely country. Oh gosh, she's got de she's got an opinion. Who else has an opinion? Yeah, I think you're right, Jennifer. And that's my question. See, my question, that's that's my whole point. Is he's called a country singer. <laughs> Bob Will no, I don't know who Bob Wills is. I don't have a clue. Is he a ventriloquist or what is he? Well, I know the difference between classic country and current country he is well he's been he's been considered he's been very popular for 20 years so i don't know if you call that contemporary or classic but more than 20 years bob wills how come i don't know bob wills has he been dead more than 50 years <laughs> <laughs> I don't see him on the Latin Grammy. Who? Who's on the Latin Grammys? Who's my favorite guitarist? Oh, man. It depends what kind of guitar playing. There are so many different kinds of guitar playing. Oh, Texas Swing. I'm not sure if I even know what Texas Swing is. Oh, see, he died in 75. No wonder I don't know who he is. Modern. Who's my favorite modern guitarist? Um, uh, let me think. Modern. How modern? I don't know contemporary. Well, when I say contemporary, I'm talking about, okay, forget, forget all that. Who's my, let me just answer your question. Stop all this prefacing and all that kind of stuff. My favorite guitarist. Oh my goodness, my favorite. Well, just for pure entertainment, okay? There's so many different categories. I'm sorry, I can't just give you one because they all feel different, different needs in my guitar listening habits. Okay, just to pure entertainment, I like B.B. King when he plays his guitar. I love the way he plays his guitar. And, of course, I love how he sings when he plays his guitar. So B.B. King is definitely has to be on my list, period. All right. Um, for pure craziness and, like, what? He did what? Um. Stevie Ray Vaughan. It has to be Stevie Ray Vaughan. Nobody can outperform. Perform. I'm not saying outplay. Nobody can outperform Stevie Ray Vaughan playing the guitar. All right. I don't care what you say. I, I stand on. I stand by that. <laughs> then. <laughs> um. Uh, very underrated, I think. What is his, what is his last, oh, I, I just saw his face. I can't think of his name right now. He's also dead. <laughs> and he was considered a country artist. Um, you guys will know who he is. His last name is Clark. What's his first name? What's his first name? Oh, I think he was a very underrated guitar player. What's his name, guys? His last name was Clark. Roy Clark, was that his name? See, I, I wouldn't even know what his name is. I can I can only visualize his last name. But I think he was a very underrated um, guitarist. 
Okay. Um, okay. Another guitarist I think is really a... Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um, Frankie Avalon. He played the guitar. Yeah, Roy Clark. Yeah, Roy Clark. And I'm not talking about when he was doing that. No, I'm not talking about when he was doing all that goofy stuff. He, he, when he played seriously, he was a really, really talented guitarist. He played classical guitar. Oh, speaking of which, Charo. Hello. Have you, have you guys seen Charo play the guitar? Flamenco guitar. Now that is, that's something else. If you like flamenco guitar playing. Oh, and then if you like any kind of Latin, then Carlos Santana. When it comes to Latin, um, well, not I, not just Latin. I mean, but you know what I mean. Never mind. Um, uh, something Johnson. What was his first name? Oh, my goodness. What's his name? He was from, I guess, the 30s or 40s. What was his first name? Something Johnson. That was a guitar player. What was this? Howard Johnson? No, no, no. that's a that's a restaurant. <laughs> what was his name? <sighs> can't think of his name yes 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 Sharon yes Robert Johnson oh my gosh I love how he plays loves how he sings I just love everything about him who else let me think. Yeah. Robert Johnson. I love you. Um, I know I'm forgetting. I'm probably forgetting my favorites. You know how that goes. Tonight I'll wake up. Oh, I forgot to mention so-and-so. <laughs> I was never into Van Halen. All right, so now we'll put some of the light on there. I'll make it look spiffy, spiffy special. Yeah, I think my good, my, if I had to choose, there we go now, pick, picking genres. If I had to, I would lean, when it comes to the guitar, to the blues. I think if I had to, if I had to pick one. Okay, well, I seem to woke you guys up. <laughs> when I went in last night yesterday to the house, my husband was blaring, Earl's got to die. <laughs> he, he loves it. So. <laughs> I was just waiting for him to get up and start jumping around. <laughs> and 
And needless to say, my husband and I like unusual music. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yep. And it was so funny because um, I was thinking about that, you know, because he was playing it last night. So I, he bought me um, about a year ago some pretty good speakers here that I have connected to my um, computer stuff here in my studio because he knows I like music and I go back and forth in the rooms in here. So it's I've got some pretty good speakers here. So I thought, oh, let me go put Earl on because I hadn't heard that song in a long, long time. So I thought, oh, that'll get me moving around in the studio and get something done. You can't sit still when you listen to that song. And it just happened that the first one to come up was the uh, uh, the um the video for the movie. I had I mean the video for the the video for the soundtracks. No. Okay, wake up, Rosemary. The video for <laughs> the music track. I had never seen the video. I had only seen them sing it like in concert and stuff like that. And and on their CD, but I had never seen the video that went with it. It is hysterical. I mean, I'd, I'd never seen it before. And um, and it was the first thing that popped up on, on YouTube. Oh, my goodness. Too funny. <laughs> way, way too funny. Okay. Well, I think these came out kind of cool, guys. What do you think? Are you going to try them out? I mean, you can't say, oh, I don't have any, any embossing stuff because I embossed them for you and they're in your packet. So... I hope you didn't already do something else with them and you go, oh, no, is that what I was supposed to do with them? <sighs> yep, that's what you were supposed to do with them. There you go. Okay, so now we'll go show what we did with the screen. <clears throat> Whoa. Oh, dear. I think I'm glued to Let me get this out of here. What's the tube for the kit? We're not there yet. <laughs> We're not there yet, people. Let me show you what I did. I'm just kidding. This is what we what I did with it. I don't know what you're gonna do with it. I put a little paper in there just to put it in there. But I think it needs to have in there like um, like some kind of a, something that we can something thin that we could put in there and make it look like a filament of some kind. Is that the right word? Filament? No. Is that the right word? People, I'm dragging. What time is it? See, I still got 45 minutes until I wake up. Um, is that the right word? Filament? Filament. Filament. Come on, help me out, people. What's the thing that's inside of a light bulb? Anyway, um, something. So you guys have the, you have some silver stuff and you got some copper stuff. And um, anyway, yeah. That's what I did. Is that the right word? Okay. <laughs> it's like, help me somebody. I don't know what I'm talking about. I didn't put any um, gold on these, but I think they look okay. Yeah, okay. They're okay. They'll do. They'll do. They'll do. Let's put them up in here. I will use to smack. You have to get too close to them to smack them with that. <laughs> You'll be way too close. Or they're already too close. Right, so we got plenty of these to play with. Let me, before I like get myself claustrophobic, let me put these things away that we were playing with. And 
you have some room to do something else. show you guys and I'm trying to remember what it was <laughs> because I don't have it there in my pile and I'm thinking wait a minute where's that whatever it was um whatever it was I wonder 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 no it's not that it's not that Oh well. Next. Oh, I need to keep that one. I forgot. We're going to use a little bit of silver and on the um on the screen. And this and I need. I think I prematurely put all that stuff away. I forgot I was going to use some of that on the, on the screen, too. And this really just depends on your color preference, you know, what you guys like. As far as the screen is concerned, let me see, where's, where's my pieces of screen? Where, oh, where are my pieces? Mm, I might have to get a fresh piece. Oh, here it is, here it is. Never fear. I gave myself an extra piece. How about that? How about that? Okay. Let me get another little drink. My throat's very dry. Uh-oh, who's leaving? Uh-oh, Susan's got to leave. Good night, Leslie. Good night, Susan. Who else? Eric who? Eric Clapton? Oh, what was that name of that guy? He had like one super duper duper album. And then I guess everything kind of went to his head and he kind of spiraled out. And his, his career kind of sort of like Peter Frampton. He is a good guitarist. Do you guys know who Peter Frampton is? Really cool guitarist. All right. Now... 
I think he only did one album. I mean, when he was popular, he may have done some since. Okay. What I did. Now, what's okay. This was going to be the problem. On here, it was light, so this showed up. This is dark, and look, it's not even going to show up. <laughs> it's not even going to show up. But I'll show you how I did it anyway. Let's see, should I put something behind it? Or. What should I do? I'll just do one of these. And I guess I could cut that in half this way and it would still fit just fine. So I can use both ends. And then to help it show up a little bit. Ooh. Oh, if I put a lot of that, maybe it'll show up against that. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, it shows up a little bit better. So, Now, real life here, it makes it really look like a metal screen as opposed to, you know, the fakes, fake plastic stuff. Looks kind of cool there. And then the other ones will show up. Oh, it looks good that way too, both ways. Okay, I'll do them all the same. Get another piece. Almost too thin, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, I thought I was going to sneeze. It was a small sneeze. It felt like it was going to be a big sneeze.
if you just have the paints, the paints will work just fine if you have metallic paint. And if you don't have metallic paint, if you used some white paint, it would still give um, a nice contrast and kind of age it a little bit. Because that what I was using was some silver. And then what I used to put these down, um, I used these small little brads. But if you don't have small little brads, you can get, um, because this is going to still be open, you can get um, some black thread. And if you just put like a stitch across here, and here, and it would it would serve the same purpose, and it was it would look cool too. So that's how you could keep that down. Um, let me. Mm, where's a needle? Or a pokey? Where's a pokey? Where's a pokey? And I think I'll use the silverish ones. What do you say? What do you say? I think so. Yeah, fat back trip pearls. That'd be perfect. You can put this, keep this down with just some hot glue, you know, right behind where you're going to put the flat back pearl. And then glue that on top of that. That'd be perfect. Great idea, Susan. I thought she was going to bed. All right. Oh, and then I put my hot glue gun away. And then what I did is with the hot glue, I put that down right there. So let me go get it again. <sighs> Putting stuff away. Uh oh, where'd I put it? I thought I put it away. <laughs> oh no, I lost my hot glue gun. Where'd I go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Uh oh. Well, if I put it away, I didn't put it where it's supposed to go. That's that's a real issue. Um, I have these. <laughs> what did I do with my gun? I'm serious. 
I might have to just use a regular glue then. See what happens when I start putting stuff away? Oh, dear. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, I don't know where it is. <clears throat> How can I lose a glue gun in two seconds? I'm going to put it in the wrong drawer. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm officially... I have no idea with it. I have no idea. I have no idea where I put my glue gun. Is it on my desk? Peekaboo. Hmm. I hate when I do that to myself. Okay, so next best thing to hot glue what number do I want on there? Let's put a nice 23. Let's put a nice 23. And if this falls off, well, a hot glue it when I find my hot glue gun. <laughs> Ta -da! Pretty cool. And you don't have to put them on each one like I did, but like I said, the fact that um, you don't see each, you know, each section at the same time, it's kind of cool when you open it up and then there's the next one there. And then on that one, what I did is I kind of scuffed up a little bit this with a little bit of just to take that real bright sheen off of there. Dull it a little bit. Where would you? <laughs> And it was already cool. And I, I remember I wrapped the, um, oh, here it is. I stuck it over here behind me on the other side. Okay, so I can hot glue the other ones. Is this one stuck already? Well, that's already stuck. So let's go ahead and put the other ones in. I have an old Dremel tool, and it's, um, and when I say old, I mean old, and it just doesn't have the torque anymore, so I'm going to get me a new one, but there's so many different ones out there now, even by Dremel. Does anybody have one and have an opinion about the one they have?
Who, me? I didn't say twerk. Twerk. Not twerk. You think I am from Texas? Twerk. Twerk. See, I had one, but I didn't have, like, all the attachments because I didn't need them. And I really still don't. There's only a few things I do with my Dremel anyway. But, but when you're used to it, and then what happened was I also have a, um, you know, a um, electric screwdriver, you know, a, you know what I mean? A, um, um, what am I trying to say? Like a power drill, right? I was going to say electric screwdriver. <laughs> Is it 10 yet? Oh, gosh. I still have a half hour to go. Um, and, you know, eventually those batteries don't charge anymore because I've had that a long time. And it stopped charging. So I was going to get another battery for it. But it costs as much, you know, as the drill does. So I said, well, why don't I just get myself a good Dremel that will serve both purposes, right? And um, so that's what I'm doing. And it'll be cheaper than replacing both of those. I just need to get a you know a couple of attachments for it, but I got to make sure that the power because there's you know there's different Dremel has different ones, different power. Okay, let me just put all those in, and then I'll get the glue gun and do the, all those at the same time. Yeah, my my um. My screw gun, you know, it has those big old batteries that you put the, you know, recharge it. It's rechargeable. And um, I went and looked at the replacements, and they cost almost as much as if you get the whole new thing. So I said, well, I'm not doing that. What kind do you have, Kathleen? Mine, maybe because mine's a heavy duty one. I mean, it's like super heavy. <laughs> I think it's time I downgrade. Because <laughs> the kind of the kind I have is you know it's, it's from you know when we were redoing this whole house electrically, and so I was using that to drill the holes for the wire, to pull the wire for the electrical and stuff like that. So it's got a lot of torque in it. I mean, it's it's not like a a house tool, you know. It's a construction tool. See your comment above. 
uh, Fordham, is that what I'm looking at? What am I looking at? I don't know. Oh, the Dremel. I have to look that up. See, I'm the cheap one in the family when it comes to buying tools. I like I try to be very conscientious and I go, oh, am I gonna use this enough to pay that? And wah 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 wah. And if I talk to my husband about it, he says, Well, are you gonna use it? Well, yeah. But, you know, am I going to get my money back for it? Probably not. You know, and he goes, well, who cares? If it's your hobby, get stuff that make you comfortable and you enjoy doing what you're doing. So, you know, if he had his way, you know, he'd spend money we don't have. <laughs> and then I'm over here, you know, counting the cost. Is it worth it? How many times am I going to use it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're both at the, you know opposite extremes you know so sometimes I don't tell him because he might just go and go get it and it isn't always necessarily what I've decided I would want you know I'm just talking it over like hmm so and so told me about this and before you know it is this the one you were talking about no I didn't tell you to go get it Yeah, my husband comes over here and borrows my tools now. <laughs> and I have that little section there, the little porch up in the front that we closed last year, and my intention was to put, you know, like a uh, a workbench out there. You know, just get some plywood and but something you can bang on and drill holes in, and nobody cares. Yeah, Lucy makes Lucy does all kinds of stuff with metal. I want Lucy to give me a class. Private class, Lucy. All right, so now now we can put the glue gun in. Oops, that's a mess. That's okay. <laughs> that's what it's all about. I'm making a mess. Oh, that would be wonderful, Liz. No, but you've got all the fun stuff, not me. 
<laughs> you have all the fun stuff. You got the tools, man. See, this is the extent of my metal work. Oh, okay, that's even better. Yeah, I got the spades. You got the tools. Yeah. All right, come on, heat up, heat up. It's getting warm in here. Oh, it is getting warm in here. See, I had, it was really cool in here all day long. And then it seemed like around four o'clock in the afternoon, it got warm, it got humid, it got stuffy. So I closed up the um, the windows and the screen door. But it was it was still real comfortable in here. And I'm looking, it's 74 in here. I was wondering why I was getting a little warm. I don't mind 74 if there's you know I got a fan on or you know some kind of a breeze. But just a stifling 74 starts feeling stuffy, especially when everything's closed up. Yeah, because next door, my husband says, he goes, I think I'm going to have to turn the heat. I mean, the heat, the, um, the air on. It's getting awfully stuffy in there. And, you know. I cooked in there and the dogs were in there. So you got all that hot breath. <laughs> so it was getting a little warm over there, but it was still cool in here. But it got into the 80s in the afternoon. Oh, what did I drop? Oh, glue. Never mind. All right. So, that part's done. So, it's shaping up. It's starting to shape up. And then we'll get another one and put it together like this one. And we'll sew it in there. What do you guys think? Are we getting there? Oh, Popo's into the power. She's in the power trip. I have some really cool tools. Basically, they are all mini power tools. Oh, let's see. What else? Cool. Micro mark. She's got all the fun tools. Look at that. She has got all the tools. It's not fair. I'm still trying to find something cool to do with my heat press. I got a heat press. I've done some cool stuff, but I want to find new cool stuff to do. I haven't played. I didn't play with it all winter, which I should have because, you know, it heats up off the whole place. <laughs> but 
But um, on that table that I'm going to put out in that enclosed area in the front, that's where the heat press is going to go. But I do have some plants. See, my problem is I have too many plants. And, you know, I have too many things I want to do. I have too many ideas. And then it's almost like I get paralyzed to do any of them. Um, I don't know if that happens to you guys sometimes. So that's where some of my frustration comes in. It's not for, you know, lack of ideas. I just have too many. And then I just kind of, I guess it's sort of like I'm sabotaging myself because I try to do too many things at one time and then basically nothing gets done. Let's get a signature together. The other signature, just to kind of see what it's going to look like. I like how this came out. Originally, when I included this paper that has some type writing on it, I thought, you know, if we cut out some of the words and put it on some of the pages. But I don't know. I'm just kind of liking it the way it is. I didn't have a lot of it. That's why I just gave you half a page. Like I said, I wasn't intending to use it as a page. I was intending to cut out words. But I don't know. I think maybe I'll just, maybe I won't do that. I'll just keep it the way it is. Elizabeth, are you talking to me about the list? No, I don't make a list. If that, if you're asking me, I mean, I, I get well, kind of, sorta. Like when it comes to these kits I'm doing, I have a list of a theme for each month, pretty much until the end of the year. And then as I'm going through my stuff, rummaging through my things. Um, how did I do that? If, um, if I run across something that fits that category, I have a bin and then I just pick it up and go throw it in the bin so that I won't have to remember where I saw it. It's now in the bin ready for the next kit. So that helps me stay organized. So in that respect, I have that kind of a list. But um, beyond that, the only real list I keep are like orders. I make sure I, I get those filled so I have a list for that. Basically, all I do is I print out the order and I have it on the pile and I fill that and cha-ching, that's, that's over and done with. I want that part for sure down here. See, the irony is, you know, making journals and stuff is that I enjoy making journals, but I hate writing things down. I hate lists. I don't like to write. I don't like to journal. I don't like, um, you know, those daily thingamajiggers. I can't stand doing those. Um
mostly as you guys know, when it comes to journals, I am, um, I'm a gluer. <laughs> I'm not a writer. Well, maybe I do have a list of things I want to try in the sense that most of the stuff I want to try in entails um, some kind of a recipe of come, some kind when it comes to my dyeing or my printing or things like that. So I have a book where I have these recipes that I want to try for my papers and for my fabric. So I do have, you know, they're sort of like in a... I want to do kind of list because I have the recipe in my little my little book over there. Um, so that I do have. <clears throat> because whenever I have like what I call free time, that's what I that's what I really love doing is stuff with my um, with my paper and my dyeing and my icky printing and things like that and my fabric stuff so I have a little where's my little recipe book I've showed you my little recipe book before <clears throat> this is my little recipe book <laughs> and it's got my little my lists and stuff in here of recipes that I didn't want to try I got the different recipes and the ways how to do them and when to do them and what to use and and then samples of some of the recipes I've already tried and like all these pages are some of the things that that didn't work so I made the whole book out of some of the things I tried that did not work but they were still kind of cool pages so that's what I used made that whole journal out of. And then I have um, I have these clear um, boxes that I have labeled with um, projects or, th or things I want to do. And again, when I see stuff, I throw it in there. So maybe I have lists, but not in a traditional way. My lists are on boxes, <laughs> labeled boxes. And so each time I put something in there, it's just reminding me, oh, I want to do that. And I think, too, maybe, I'm just guessing, the reason I don't, like, write things down and make lists and stuff like that is over the years, um, you know, I've learned what works and doesn't work as far as my dyslexia and 
I find, I absolutely find no joy, and I'm serious, no joy in writing things down. It just frustrates me because, you know, the way I see things and read things and everything's twisted it upside down. It brings me, it all it does is frustrate me. So I think that's why that isn't my mode for organizing because basically all it does is it frustrates me to no end. So I avoid it like the plague. <laughs> I think that's why. I'm guessing. Oops, well, that didn't come out straight. That's okay. It looks better when it's not. Okay, I love this paper. Well, it was a bag, but oh, my poor doggy's crying out there. I think he wants to go in. I've been out here in the in the heat too long. Let me in, let me in. Ooh. I need some of this. I need some of this. My book pages. Ooh, maybe I need. Maybe I need a ledger page. Look at that. How yummy that is. Woohoo! Look at that. Yumminess. Smoking now.
Uh oh. What are you guys up to, Aaron? I haven't been looking up as usual. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I don't want to know. Leave you guys to your own devices. No pun intended. Nine. Okay, I think I have it. I think those are 12. I need one thick one there. We're done for now, for now.
Okay, guys, there you go. Both the signatures are done. No tabs yet. I don't know if I'll put any on this one. Oops. Maybe I should. <laughs> It's kind of what makes it look kind of cute, huh? I have these. I'm trying to, I'll have to look up and see. This was a, a digi download, so I couldn't include these in the kit. Because she doesn't allow it. Some of some of the um, sellers will let you print out some of them if you don't like just print out the sheet and sell the sheet, you know. But if you cut out, you know, parts of it or something, and then others absolutely will not let you in any way, shape, or form sell it in a kit. You can only sell it part of a journal but these are kind of cool they all came out in these kind of an oval and it already had this look I just put a little bit of a little bit of ink around the edge that's all I did but I was thinking that Some of these had a cool look, and these could be um, stapled or sewed, and those could be the, the tab. What do you guys think? I think it's kind of cool. I saw that kit. Oh, you did. Cool. Do you remember who it was by? <laughs> I'll look it up. And then where did I where did I where did I put those? Then I don't know if it, it's the same kit or somebody else. I'll have to double check. But it had all of this cool stuff. And that one doesn't let me share it with you either. Um, and it just had a lot of cool numbers and... From now on, I'm only going to get from the ones that let me share. Because, like, you know, it makes it more fun that way. And so what I did is I printed these on, um, on, what do you call that paper? It's a full sheet of sticker paper, but it's a full sheet. And then I just cut them all out. So now I can glue these anywhere. There you go. That looks kind of cool. What do you hate? Who hates what? 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 What did I miss? I wonder if what?
Yeah, I'm going to do that in the group. Yes, ma'am, I will do that. Well, I I see I I see. Well, let me see. See, I I put myself in the seller's position because I sell stuff. So, for instance, you know, it takes time to put these things together. I mean, you may not think so, but it does. And you know, there's a lot of Photoshop and editing and this and that. It takes time to do it. Now, I put myself in the position, like, say, if I put together a class and it took me time to put the class together. Well, if someone bought my class and then they just gave the link to somebody else, um, I would be upset about that. Like, what are you doing giving away my class? It's my class to sell. It's not your class to give away. So in, in that respect, I can see how when you buy a digital from somebody, it's not yours to give away. It's something that is sold. And, you know, some sellers, um, you know, are very adamant about that. There's others that will let you, um, you know, do portions or only so many copies or everybody's got different things, right? But, um, but those that don't want you to do it at all, um, I don't mind that because personally, I don't want people giving away stuff that I'm selling um, in my shop that somebody bought and that I sell. So I kind of see, you know, I see it from a seller's standpoint and I see it from a buyer's standpoint. Um, anyway, that's just that's just me. <laughs> Everybody can have their own opinion, but you know, I understand. I understand. But I think I'm going to put some of these in here. I'm trying to remember who's hold on. I can pull it up really quick because you know how when you go to Etsy, it shows you everything you bought. I can give you the name of the shop for sure right now in case you're not in the group. <clears throat> Hold on. I can find that. I forgot I had the technology. Purchases. Your purchases and review. Oh, there's my other dog. Okay, these the these are by My Porch Prints. And they're called Grunge Number Labels. And they're two dollars and forty nine cents. That's these right here. Okay, let me find these. This was a different, I don't know if it was a different person, but it was a different time that I bought them. Let me go look. Okay, oh, it's by the same person. <laughs> this is by the same person and um it's just called, I guess it really doesn't have a name. It's kind of weird. Hold on. Let me see. Let me click on it because that doesn't seem like a name. Yeah, that's the name of it. It's Industrial Number Tags. Oh, how, how appropriate. Industrial. And, oh, now I remember. When I got this, it had like maybe four or five things like these and came with this. 
And then later on, she had them with a full sheet of other stuff. So I bought that sheet. But if you get just this one, you get some of these. So it's like a twofer. So industrial number tags, you'll get some of these and you'll get all of these. And it's for $2.99. It's well worth it. So what are my dogs barking at now? Let me check this and let me make sure it's not. One second, please. Oh, okay. Let me close that out. All right. So what's kind of cool, I didn't do that yet, but see if you get some of this and put them on there and then put some of the grungy tape over it, that would look pretty cool, I think. Let's, let's put one of these right here. Uh -oh. Some of these you can get off real easy. Some of them you can't. And, you know, you can just do this on copy paper and glue them down. But I got a hold of some of these label paper at a thrift store. So I said, hey, why not? Super cheap. Now, where's some of my tape? I know I have some somewhere. without the tape and they just get a little little cooler with the tape. I think I like it. So I'll put some more of those on here. And then if you guys get some, you can do that together. And then this comes with one of those. I forget if it comes, if these numbers come with this or come with this. I don't remember now. It comes with one of these. And then these little guys that came out so small, I thought these would make you little cute tabs too on um, pages. And I would just um, I would just staple them on there. I think those would look cool. Where's my stapler? Where's the stapler? Hello. Is it going to stick out too much? Oh, that's going to stick out too much. Too much. That's too much. Operation time. Uh, 
had stapled it a little too well. <laughs> there we go. Maybe if I put it on a paper that is out a little stubbier. I know I had some short wings in there, didn't I? Yeah, that one's a little shorter. I guess that was the only one. So I don't want it to stick out further than these other, too much further than these other pages. So maybe like right there is okay. That'll work. Much better. Let's see. He's a cutie patootie. And maybe if we put a little a little something next to him. There we go. And then And so as you start, you know, those of you that have already done journals, you know, once you start layer, layering everything and building up on top of each other, it looks pretty cool. Now back here, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with the back. There's several possibilities. What time is it? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, that's what fell. <laughs> My mouse. I was wondering when I looked up, everything looked kind of goofy. Okay. So, um, what time is? Oh, obviously, ten thirty. Okay, so it's kind of. I mean, it's kind of late to start a project that will take some time. So. What we will do tomorrow is I'm going to figure something cool for us to do in the back of this. And I got to think on that. So I don't want to start that because I'll be doing it while I'm thinking about it. So I'll think about it tonight and have the plan for tomorrow. So I guess we got enough done. We got the basic structure of the journal, how we're putting the pages together, how to make our little faux metal stuff, some places to get some little cool ephemera to put in there. And last week we learned how to make our paper. So I guess we got some stuff done, right? <laughs> Sometimes I think, what did we do? It took us three hours to do what? No, we got enough done. I think anyway. Let me put these in here before I lose them because they're so small. So if you guys haven't asked me, and put it in capitals, please, because I won't see nothing. Um, if you asked me something before and I didn't see it, just please repeat it if you don't mind. And... Um, I'd be more than happy to answer. I think next time, um, well, I didn't want to ask Susan to help me because I thought she would have to go to bed, but she's still here. So she could have. Um, she could have been my, um, you know, co-conspirator as far as telling me um, what's going on. I could have her on there just, Rosemary, so-and-so wants to know blah, blah, blah. And that would be very helpful. <laughs> And then Darla's here too. <coughs> Darla could have done it. 
So if either one of you are available tomorrow, maybe we'll do that. And that way, <clears throat> I'm getting questions answered. Um, no questions? <laughs> Darla couldn't help. She was taking a nap. How cute. Gosh, no questions. I must have been super clear. Everybody was taking a nap. <laughs> when I cut these out, I just cut out a square. But see, they're small. And these are small enough to be a little tag, too. I'm not a tag, a tab on your journal. And you could even fold them. And it would have, you know, all this cool stuff on there. There's a lot of things you can do with them. <clears throat> Let me put these in here. I cheer Junior. He wants to go in so bad. I hear him over there. Going, mm, mm, mm. I mean, he's perfectly fine. He's on the porch. But he's a big baby. Oh, he's a big baby. And he wants what he wants when he wants it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, the two. Maybe we can play with that tomorrow too. Um, oops. And you know, and if there's still stuff in the um in the kit that you guys want to do, you know, I can make you know as many videos as you want, and we can, you know, piece by piece put the stuff together. I'm just not sure, you know, all the time, you know, what all you guys want to um. What is that? Oh, see, I did those on the tape, too, which you guys want to do. So I'd like to show, too, on what did I do with that book? Where did it go? I wanted to show, too, how maybe if we uh, gutted this and did some decorating on this and turned this one into a different type of, whoops, industrial um, book because I like how the cover came out when I boiled that one. Did you guys boil a book, too, or did you just boil the paper? Because that's what your boiled book could look like if you just boiled a book. So maybe we'll take, because I have so many pages that I've, you know, got prepped already for this. Maybe we'll, we'll do one in there. And I think what I want to do is put this in the front somehow with some kind of metal and stuff. I'm not sure what yet, but that's sort of kind of sort of what I'm thinking about. Still not sure exactly what. I don't have the full vision yet. That's why I haven't even done a sample one because I've still been thinking about it. Oh, tools. 
We're talking about tools again. You have, yeah, oh, I did. Yep, what I did. <laughs> I got a, a book from a Dollar Tree. And um, it was all a cream color. Well, you can see the inside. It was, well, no, I guess you can't tell what color it was. Anyway, it was that color right there. Sort of like vanilla folder color. And it didn't have anything in the front of the back. It just had stuff here. Well, there you can see the original color. I just had it on the back. So I just wrapped it up. Like I was making a um, pot roast. <laughs> and that's done with twine. And I just threw it in there like I did the paper for like about five minutes. So it would just kind of soak up all the little juices of the water and everything. And then I just threw it outside to let it dry. And I think it came out pretty cool. So I was telling the ladies that. If they just got any old book they had and covered it up with um, some copy paper to start off with some fresh, you know, white paper. And then they could go ahead and wrap it up like I did and do the same thing and they could have the same look. And if they this I did this when I did my lighter batch of paper. I wish I maybe I'll do it, boil it again, but I wish I had done it more with the darker tones. I think it looked cooler. So the next time you see this, it may be a different color, but it won't. No, it won't be another color because it won't work because I can't tie it exactly. So that means I wouldn't have any of the light left. What would be left would be the light of these colors. I don't know. Oh, well, maybe I'll just boil a different book. How about that? <laughs> no one says it has to be that book. Right, right. Right. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? It doesn't have to be that book. How narrow minded can I be? Oh, and that was when I told you I couldn't throw anything away and I hadn't thrown away that. What was it? That thing for my paper. I figured, oh, look, I can cut those things apart. And I can make something cool. I don't know what. <laughs> so I couldn't throw it away. Oh, this. See? I know I can tear these apart and make something cool out of it. I just haven't figured out what it is yet. That might be tomorrow. What else goes in there? What goes in there? I don't throw anything away. I forget what came in here. Salad or something was in that. Yeah, 7 o'clock Central. Be here, be square. Come back with your favorite list of um, guitar players. We'll duke it out again. Duke it out. <laughs> so, anything else, ladies? Now that you have my attention, are we done?
Ooh, enameling. How cool is that? Oh, dear. You just see how this looks. Talking about enameling. Then they're talking about boiling stuff tomorrow. And then Brenda says that's how she makes her gravy. Oh, dear. <laughs> Lucy, if you do little small stuff, they have that kiln for the microwave. If you're just going to do little small things. <laughs> you got a problem with that, Susan? <laughs> Oh, you can use the torch. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a, uh, I don't know what it costs. I forget. I used to know. Maybe like, I don't, I'm not even going to say. I don't know. And it's a small little thing. And you put it in the microwave. And you got to leave it X amount of time because, you know, it just gets so, so hot. It just seemed a little dangerous to me. <laughs> I thought, oh my gosh, I'll hurt myself for sure. Yeah, that's true. But microwaves are so cheap. You know, you can get some, so cheap ones anymore. You could have one just designated for your for your stuff. Yeah, like your toaster. I know. When I heard that Betty has all these kilns, I'm going, oh, I wish she was my neighbor. I wish Betty was my neighbor. We could kill each other. I mean, kill each other. <laughs> uh, let's see, I don't have any really room either. So that's why it would stay at Betty's. I just go over to Betty's and say, let's light that up. Let's light that puppy up. Roy? Roy who? Who are we talking about now? I'm so confused. <laughs> what do you mean you'd never see her? I'd be over there. You mean you couldn't get rid of me? <laughs> Roy Clark. <laughs> Are we back to the guitars again or what happened? Oh, Bootsy. I don't see him around anymore. Is he still around? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I wasn't at your stream. I didn't know you were streaming. I was really busy today. Usually I um um I heard from her the other day. She's okay. I think she's been really busy because she works out of her home, so she's still real busy. Roy I don't know. Boss cat? I have no idea. 
Okay, I can see Susan's trying to cause problems. Oh, Darla, come on. I think my husband took the dog in. He's quiet or he passed out from whining so much. <laughs> I am so happy that I've got my, um, that we got my um, Asian glue book all situated last night. That was so much fun. I'm so glad I got that done. I can't wait to start gluing in it. Oh. Sam, Sam, who I'm missing all these people. I'm missing something in the translation. Oh, Elliot, he's still alive. Last time I saw him, his mustache was bigger than his face. <laughs> yeah, Tom Selleck has got a big mustache. And the older he gets, it looks like it's coming out of his nose. Wow, you guys don't like Tom Selleck. Look at that. Cheesy even. Wow. <laughs> he used to live in my town before, before he became a star. Tom Selleck's still around, though. Oh, I don't know anything about his politics. Oops. Little guy, he wants to go in so bad. <laughs> okay, so now not only do they not like Tom Selleck, they don't like friends. And that's why they don't like Tom Selleck. <laughs> I love how you guys think. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Mess what up? I don't think you messed up anything. What'd you do, Gina? You didn't do nothing, did you? Jesse Stone. Who's that? I don't know these people. It was bad enough just talking about, um, oh, his name is Jesse Stone. Oh, okay. See, I don't know. I never watched Friends either. So there was a period in my life that I did not watch um, any TV. We didn't have a TV. What year was that? Let's see. It was when we moved to Hawaii. We decided we're not, we were, how we were going to see how long we could stay without a TV. <laughs> And that was in, oh, what year was that? It's a long time ago. That was in 90, ooh, 93. So whatever was, whatever was on TV, like between the early, early 90s, 90 to 95, I don't know. I don't know any of I don't know any of those people. No, see, I don't know these things. I don't know these things. And then for the longest time I didn't go to the movies either. We didn't do any of that stuff. We entertained ourselves by turning the lights off in the house, putting the porch light on, watching all the bugs come to the light and watching the geckos eat them. That was our entertainment. Gecko vision. <laughs> Are you on live chat, Gina? Maybe that's the issue. Are you on live chat? Check, check up on top. Is it say top chat or live chat? You want live chat. See, we already, you started watching when I stopped watching. So if we had to play trivia, we'd be good partners. I'd know before and you'd know after. And you know what's really funny about, like, if you didn't watch movies and you didn't watch TV, that for a lot of people, that is their only point of reference to time. And for some people, it's their only knowledge about history. So for those people, you would have absolutely nothing in common to talk about. <laughs> Because for some people, that's the only thing they relate to. Because it's like, well, what year was that? Oh, I think that was the year that so-and-so was on. So that must have been 1970, you know. See, Lucy can do two things at one time.
Hmm. We still have a lot of people here and we're not doing anything. All I'm doing here is reading. You guys are chit-chatting. I don't know what the lurkers are doing because, you know, I guess they're reading like I am. Because that's basically what I'm doing. I'm doing, I'm lurking. Yeah, I don't think of you as being awkward, Darla. <laughs> My husband reads so much about everything. He can carry on a conversation with anybody about anything. And he's not like, um, you know, what's the word I'm trying to use? He's not, um, I can't even think of the word I'm trying to think of. Expert. Yeah, that's the word. He's not an expert on anything and he doesn't profess to be, but, um, it's interesting that when you talk to people about the things they're interested in, and you talk with a little bit of knowledge and authority, then people think you know more than you do. And then they just like brrr, start talking about their stuff. And all you got to do is interject a couple of key words <laughs> and they think that you're, you're keeping up with them. <laughs> and that's what my husband does. And he can talk with anybody about anything. <laughs> Oh, there's Carla. Jennifer's still around. She's on, we're on TV. Hey, hey. No, you don't type it in, Gina. If you go up, um, I'm trying to remember what it looks like because I'm on a different thing here. If you go up to the top of the chat at the very top, it's going to say up there either live chat or what's the other thing it says? <laughs> I can't remember what it says. <laughs> it says live chat or because see, I'm not over on YouTube right now. Oh boy. What does it say, you guys? Oh, top chat or live chat. And so you have to click on that. And then you choose one or the other and you want to choose live chat. Way up on the top above where everybody's writing. Oh, Brenda's a farm girl. Mm -hmm. Barn raising farm girl. Okay, ladies. Well, it is 11 o'clock. I am... Obviously done here. I don't know what else to do in the short term. So. So I say we will see you guys tomorrow. If 
you can at 7 central. And maybe then Gina will find live chat. <laughs> maybe Gina will find live chat. Good night, Carla. Oh, where's Erin? Is she here? Okay, fantastic, Gina. Who's live next? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Aaron, are you going? Are you going live, Aaron? <laughs> oh, what happened? What happened to Darla? Oh, somebody else. Never mind. Okay. Sandra fell asleep. That's okay. Glad we could help. <laughs> oh, her doggy. She was snoozing. She was having a good time. I hope you were having a good, a good dream at least. Ooh, what are they going to do? Can they operate on him, Darla? Night, Gino. Mm. Well, I hope you can keep him still. He's going to have to be still for a while. You know those crazy doggies. Okay, ladies, I will see you tomorrow. And hopefully I will come up with a plan. Hopefully. And maybe doing something with this. Or we'll just continue working on the one that we started tonight and go from there. So if you have any questions or suggestions, um, save them up for tomorrow. And um, hopefully I'll, you know, snag somebody to help me so that I can, I can actually answer a question. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. Thanks again for all your support. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.